proceedings. That's our objective today. So explain how minors are treated differently for criminal proceedings. All right. So we know minors are what? What is a minor? Someone not legally grown. Not legally grown. Okay. Under 18. Okay. So that's a minor. Uh, criminal proceedings. What's a criminal proceeding? What's a criminal? You guys have been talking about court systems and things in this unit. If you've gotten to that. What are criminal proceedings? When you're charged as a criminal or a process? So a criminal is a crime, right? So cr crimes, okay? Things like that, okay? So we're going to look at how minors are treated differently than adults for crimes, okay? That's our, that's our objective today. All right, in just a minute, we're going to watch a video. Um, then we're going we're gonna to read a, just a small article. Then we're going to break up into groups compare some similarities and differences, and then I'm going to ask a couple of you to share from your groups with the rest of us. So that's what we have planned for today. Okay, so in this, in this unit, you should have talked about, or you may have not gotten to it yet, local, state, federal, and court systems. Okay, methods for dispute resolution, procedures of a jury selection, and steps in a civil lawsuit or a criminal prosecution. Why are these things important? Why would, why would you need to know all this information in a business law class? What does, it, what does everybody think? Why would you need to know all this information? What if you're involved in some of these things someday? You may be involved in, a, in some kind of a civil lawsuit. Somebody may sue you. You may sue somebody else. Or even in a criminal prosecution. You may be a victim or you may be prosecuted. So you need, it's good to know all this 